the fires in Los Angeles have been very destructive. And one way in which we're seeing just how intense these fires are is uh, the formation of these fire, so-called fire tornadoes or fire whirls. Um, and I think it's a good manifestation of uh, the destructive power of these fires. You know, essentially any fuel that... The term fire tornado isn't a very precise one. Uh, it can mean a lot of different things. But generally speaking, we call these things fire whirls. And these, uh, these fire whirls, where it's a spinning structure, uh, flow structure, um, can, be, uh, can reach very, very high wind speeds. Also, and so the fire you know, can burn and, uh, and spread quickly, posing you know, that thermal danger, as well as uh, you know, the smoke and you know, all the nasty things there uh, with, from the, the smoke and emissions. But then the, the tornado aspect, or the high winds, add the, the risk of wind damage. And so you can have debris that's flung by the wind that can you know, hurt people. Um, it can also knock over you know, damaged structures, as well as uh, uh, you know, hamper efforts by first responders um, or other people who are in that area um, to escape or find cover. Uh, flung far away from the so fire whirls also can um, be a mechanism for flinging embers far away from their source and far ahead of the fire front, allowing the fire potentially to spread uh, very long distances. Because of the, uh, and I think it's important to note too that uh, when these events happen, you can have a sudden shift in the fire behavior, and that poses a threat to first responders um, because they maybe uh, it only gives them uh, it gives them less time to respond to the sudden change, and you know the fire could suddenly um, move in their direction when otherwise it was moving in a different one. Airflow and create very.